Today I'm in Dollar Park in the Walled Garden and I'm here to uh, take part in a cycle as part of the Cycling Without Age project which started here, uh, brings generations together, offers huge opportunities but in particular here today to uh, make it clear that the Scottish Government will provide financial and other support to roll this idea out across Scotland. Cycling Without Age began in Denmark back in 2012. It was started up by a man called Ollie Cassow who noticed that after a certain age uh, the elderly citizens of the city weren't getting outside anymore. Uh, so he found this tri uh, which is a modified rickshaw bike and decided he would take out residents from care home in his free time uh, to let them be part of the city again. As of 2017 it's in over a thousand care homes in over 30 countries around the world. There is no reason why age should stop us from doing a little bit of exercise, be it cycling or walking or whatever it might be. But taking part in this project, maybe for those who are physically less able to be active themselves, keeps them active because it keeps your mind engaged, it brings pleasure, and that's all a huge benefit to help you feel maybe a wee bit less lonely, a wee bit less isolated uh, in your home, wherever that home may be. So this whole project has got loads of benefits and when you stop and think about it, it's such a simple idea about bringing people together to do something that's enjoyable for everybody. We have over 40 volunteers at present. Uh, we're working in three care homes at the moment in the Falkirk area. Uh, the age range of residents can be anything from as low as kind of 60 up into the 90s and moving you know, up towards the 100s as well. Uh, the biggest thing we've been impressed by is the volunteer reach that we've had. Uh, our youngest volunteers at the age of 12, our oldest volunteers 80, and nearly 100% of the volunteers have never volunteered before. So our job as government is to listen to what they've got to say, offer them the support we can, both financially and in terms of other, other ways, and then help them to roll this out across different parts of Scotland. Already there's interest across the piece uh, from different care homes, different towns, different agencies who want to help make this happen.